Hello, this is Adam Rayner. I'm at the Hard Rock Hotel in Las Vegas. This is Mr. Drew Cullen. I believe you were responsible for designing one of the finest woofers I've loved forever <laughs> in a previous life. Yes. Um, and you guys have got some literally awesome subwoofers here. Uh, in this here ballroom, I know we're about to finish and they put the lights down, but my camera doesn't care. Um, Drew, tell us about these huge, huge woofers. I am having the Mickey taken out of me on the internet for calling something weapons grade, but this is a weapons grade woofer, isn't it? I guess you could say that. Yeah. So, essentially, this is our new uh, T3 19 inch woofer. It's actually available this first quarter this year. And one of the key, com key elements to it is actually the whole the engine behind it. And what I mean by that is our uh, voice coil. And it's actually two separate distinct voice coils that are, are powered by two separate magnetic air gaps Boom. using one common, which you cannot see here, one common neo large five inch diameter neodymium magnet. Very high temperature, very high power, very high energy magnet. I, I hefted it into the air, I whipped out a small torch and stuck it right up the old. I've seen it, it's a right chod of neo up there. It's an expensive part, I guess. Yes, yeah, the single most expensive part on this driver. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely. So what's unique about it is because there's two air gaps sharing a same motor, same magnet, we have a north pole and a south pole with uh, each of the coils has to be, the polarity has to be reversed relative to the other. So in doing that, we essentially have a very efficient, effective uh, push-pull motor design. And so well, one's losing it in one direction, the other one's up to its it. neck, and yep. you never lose grip or gauss. It's yes, it's, it's really the, the, most, is the time, isn't it? Yes, uh, it's the most efficient use of a single magnet if you can if you can afford to do it, and especially in a high power woofer. So the X Max or the excursion the linear X Max on this one is 35 millimeters one way. So, 35 millimeters one way X Max. Yes. So. What, what it gives you, it gives you essentially a peak-to-peak -peak linearity of uh, nearly three inches. Um, but on top of that, all of the, just, if you think of it like noise-canceling headphones, the, it cancels all, or negates, the push-pull aspect negates all the non-linear, non-linearities that are normal in a yes. normal woofer. The push-pull actually cancels and offsets all those problems. So we don't have to use shortening rings. We don't have to do any of the stuff you'd have to do to compensate for it normally. So it's so a huge benefit on that. This really is the woofer that, dare I say it, I'm not going to name any brands, but there are some out there that just think if you pile it up higher <laughs> and it's just more of it, you know, there yeah. are some huge woofers that just go, blah, 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 yeah, yeah. and they're horrible. I, I hate to say it, but I'll go on record. I don't yeah. like them. Yeah, this is, this is, this is, yeah, uh, there's a lot SQL. of, SQL. Yeah, but yes, but it's competition grade. So what I mean by that is you have the amplifier power, it can, it can do the SPL competition type of product and output, but it does it amazingly clean with the lowest distortion you've, we've seen in a woofer today. So we've done a lot of measurements. We use the best equipment to capture it. Uh, I have this 1500. Sorry about that. Live inquiries. Cool. We're doing so, so what we did, let me grab over here, grab the, the part that makes it unique. So this is on, on its own, the voice coil. Now you're not getting a scale, but if you get a scale, my fist fits right through, no problem. Ah, <laughs> you didn't see that. It's vast, yes. it's vast, but this is edge wound. So very, yeah. very special bit of wire as well. Yeah, this is from Japan, is. you get it made for you guys? Yes, and it's, it's a single layer, meaning a lot of uh, the competition woofers have uh, uh, flat wire, and what it is is flat wire usually wound on the flat with many, 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 many layers. And each layer traps the heat of the layer under it, and the distance and the expansion and everything about the multi-layer, the air gaps, the pockets between the layers, and turns have create issues in heat and potential hot spots. The Don't ideal way. Under Armour make a big issue about layering. Say if yeah. you really want to stay hot, <laughs> layer. Yeah. So layering, no good for not big good power for heat and thermal high power woofers. So this edge wound aluminum voice coil it takes that flat wire. It's aluminum for lightweight, and it's uh, the wire is on the flat. It's turned on its edge and wound on the edge. So what it is is every single turn is exactly the same uh, circumference and dimension. So as this gets hot yeah. and expands and contracts, it does it evenly, uh, uniformly. Linearity, Linearity so, is your word. Thermal. Yes. That is so important. What a clever, clever piece of kit. Yeah, heat is the enemy. Yes. So that's the engine. The engine really is clean. So what yes. makes it beyond that is we have to have a suspension, like a car, you know, has to have a suspension to be able to withstand all that excursion and uh, movement and it has to be stable and linear. So to 
characterize that, we had to develop a new uh, material for the surround. And this is uh, the first uh, injection molded foam. That is injection molded? Yes. So it's just a piece that's been bended, that's been yes. molded, that shape. Well, normally foam comes in a sheet stock yeah, that's uh, like a bedding that's thick and they compress it with heat and they form it into shape. That has natural porosity and it's very, it, uh, you can tear it very easily and it fatigues very easily as well. So this material, by injection molding this foam, we get the benefits of the lightweight of foam, but we get the, uh, the performance of a sealed uh, and very strong rubber material or elastomer material because of the way it's made. So again, we're the first in the industry doing this. And the other thing is the surround has a vertical attach technique. No, most surrounds, they come down and they attach, they, they go out and they clamp down and glue down in place. This comes down and goes inward and essentially, normally that's, you couldn't do that because to pull the part out of the tool, it would interfere and you couldn't do that. So, but we've developed a uh, technique where we can really essentially peel the surround after it's cured out of the tool and get a good, good uh, surround, everything we need. So on top of that, I don't know if you can see in here, you can look, um, there's, that, it bends inward. There's actually a metal clamping ring all the way around that clamps that inward bend, uh, our vertical attached surround, and screws all the way around that clamp that down. So it's glued and screwed, and it will never separate there or have issues Rugged, there. Rockford rugged. Yes, absolutely. Cool. So obviously, lightweight is benefit. To complement that, we had to use a lightweight, rigid cone. It's a multi-layer, three-layer cone, sandwich cone, you might call it, but it's a glass fiber, Nomex honeycomb core with a glass fiber uh, backing on it. Uh, so there we have it, a 19 inch woofer. Yes. It's going to be two and a half thousand dollars retail. Yes. By the time it gets to the UK, it's going to be about that in Estadalina because that's going to be a shipping item. Yes. <laughs> Sir, thank you so very much. The Rockford fans in the UK are going to die. Thank you, thank you. You saw it here first on Talk thank Audio you. TV in the hard rock. <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs>